Rejoice Ministries We find that uh, we need to keep the word of God in our mind and walk according to what it says. We need to trust God and obey him. So when we don't do these things, we fall into a prey and we see that Samson was one. He was not, uh, uh, Samson, uh, Samson's uh, life was a, was a living a vow to God. As a Nazarite, Samson had to follow three rules to hold on to his relationship with God. He should abstain himself from wine, uh, not to be around a dead or unclean things, and he should not raise a, a razor, should not use razor on his head. These are the three things uh, his parents received from God about the new boy. But uh, but Samson had given away all the three. On his trip to Philistine to arrange for his marriage, Samson killed a lion, and upon his return, he saw the dead remains of the lion with a swarm of bees. He he scooped up a handful of honey and also he had wine during the wedding feast. In the latter part of his life, his hair was cut out, cut completely. He broke all the three rules which God had left him on. Finally, God left him on his own. Samson told a strange riddle during the wedding feast out of his personal experience. He, if you, you can turn over to Judges 14.14 14 and you see... Out of the eater, something to eat. Out of the strong, something sweet. Samson's riddle conveyed that out of the eater, which was a lion, he tasted honey from the dead remains of the lion, which was against the rule of his Nazarite vow. Unclean. He took unclean food. As the adage goes, an evil man is trapped by his own word. Samson's deeds came to light by his sinful talk. In Tamil they say, no, nulalum tan vayal kedum. That means nulal means a frog. A frog during the rainy season, it keeps, uh, it doesn't shut its mouth. It keeps on uh, making some which are very hungry, they come out and they hear the noise of this uh, uh, frog and they just uh, grab them and eat them off. So likewise this man with his mouth, he could have kept it shut. He opened up and then it came to uh, light that he had uh, taken unclean food. In the latter part of his life, knowing that he had sinned, he did one good thing that he prayed to God while on display in front of the Philistines the last time to give him a chance. Last time he prayed to God. He was uh, he he knew what he had done was wrong. But at the last minute he prayed while on display in the front of the Philistines. God was faithful to him. He helped Samson to restore his strength in his defeated state and he killed more Philistines than he had in his entire life. If we are caught deep in sin like Samson, we should not fear. We should go to God, pray to God and he will lift you out of the muck and light your way. Because repentance is the only way by which we can bring life into our way of life, into our journey of life. Our God is a God of restoration. If we are far off, let's open our life to God and let his spirit draw us beyond the limit of our flesh and spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. What we learn today is uh, from Samson's life. Like we need to trust and obey God. And when we have a special calling on us, we need to obey the three things that God wanted Samson to avoid all the three rules he broke and he was finally caught up by the Philistines. His eyes were gouged out. Imagine the pain he must have felt. His, he, he was blind. He was not able to see till the end. His eyeballs were just plucked out of his eyeballs. Just imagine the blood and the pain that he would have suffered from. For what? For all that he was doing in his life. So let us be very careful in life when God calls us, when the calling is there on our head. We need to listen to him all the time. We need to ask him every time whether this is right or wrong, whether we can have this program or not. Lord, give us a word. Talk to us. Maybe in dreams, maybe in visions. Tell us. 
because we need to do this we know that it is a good thing but still we need to know whether this good thing can be done in your own time that is that is how on august 10th it was a great success for us when we conducted our youth festival we expected a lot of people from a lot of places but none of them turned up from those places but god filled up the hall that ac hall with 100 participants and uh, gave us a 100% success everything to be done according to the will of god that is the most important thing every day i do in the morning the first prayer i do is i will ask god lord let your will be done in my family in my life today you have given me life and strength today father let me do everything according to your will uh, if i am going out of the way lord stop me right then and teach me what i need to do i keep asking for the will of god the moment we give ourselves to the will of god god is usually there to help us out once um, i was uh, i was ready to go out with my husband i went and sat inside the car waiting for my husband but uh, something within me was telling that uh, i shouldn't go out that particular day some some sort of a disturbance i had in my spirit and after 2 uh, minutes or so my husband came and sat inside and we were supposed to go out that particular day and i told my husband i feel little disturbance in my uh, spirit how about you then he said i too was feeling for past 5 minutes i have been struggling actually uh, i didn't want to go out but because you have already gone and sat inside the car i thought i will also go and sit with you but now that you are saying you also have the same sort of a disturbance we are not going out anywhere come let's go inside so we went inside the house and we felt really happy because we broke it and if we had gone out surely some evil thing might have happened maybe an accident maybe something we don't know what but god is there to help us because we commit everything to his will in the very morning the first prayer let us learn to say this prayer that according to his will if we are going to do things that day will be a blessed day at the end of the day when before you go to sleep you will see that god has done amazing things and you were kept away from evil thank you heavenly father for this wonderful time when we were meditating on the works of samson in his life as how he was called to be a great man a judge he was so but in his real life father god he was away from you he broke all the rules and finally he was in the hands of the philistines suffering so much so and he ended up his life lord the purpose of you on uh, on samson was fulfilled to some extent because he was able to kill more than uh, 3000 and odd people under that uh, big uh, temple which uh, samson wasn't been able to do whole of his life thank you jesus we learn such a lot from samson and be with us father that we will always trust and obey you in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen and amen thank you pastor for that wonderful sharing uh, it's very sounds very scary because this is one of the bible 